Hello everybody, Andy White here. Now what I'm going to show you today is how to grab the iTunes URL for any podcast that is actually in the iTunes directory. Now, just a bit of um, sort of background uh, information here. Uh, it may seem strange to think of a, um, a podcast in the iTunes directory having a URL. But they do. They each have a unique URL. As long as as long as they're in the iTunes directory, they have a unique URL that sort of has a, a unique ID on them. And I'll show you um, why in just a second. So let's just go over to uh, Podstats here. Now we're editing. Uh, we've just created a podcast for analytics. Happens to be Eventful Brighton, one of mine. But we want the iTunes URL. So how do we get that? So go to iTunes. Now we don't want to be in our local podcast area. We actually want to be at the iTunes store, which is over here. Let's do a search for the podcast. So, Eventful Brighton. And sure enough, it comes right up because there aren't many things called Eventful Brighton in iTunes. Um, they're only podcasts. So, we click on like the home page of Eventful Brighton. Here we are, Eventful Brighton. Home pages in in iTunes vary. Sometimes they're uh, they're black like this. Sometimes they're quite white. I think it depends on what media they are, whether they're video or audio. This one happens to be a mixture. That's probably why it's black. So what we do is it's very easy. We put our cursor over the title here, and because I'm on a Mac, I will do Control click. If you're on a a PC or you've got a mouse, then it's um, right click, and you just copy the link. Simple as that. If I just go down here, this is just a sort of bog standard sort of text editor type program I've got running, and I'll do a control V, you'll do a sort of a paste if you want, or a right click paste. And we can actually see the structure of the iTunes URL here. They're always pretty similar. They always start with iTunes.apple.com, then usually the country, in my case GB, then usually podcast. Um, I've got eventful dash Brighton here. They often they they can just go straight into this this sort of ID string at the end. It it varies. I'm not quite sure why Apple how Apple decides what the URL will be. But the interesting thing is, if you actually click on this URL, which we we can do from this little editor here, and we'll go to the um, to the browser, you may or may not know that iTunes is sort of online now, and each homepage for a podcast in the podcast directory does in fact have a corresponding homepage on the web and this is what podcasting tools actually goes to to, to grab those customer ratings if it, if it can so that's why we put the iTunes URL in so basically let's go back to the other screen uh, we've got that in the buffer now so if we go over to uh, to podstats sorry you're feeling dizzy yet let's go to the live podstats I can just in my case command V that in and there we go, we just need to save that now. And there you go, that's how you grab the iTunes URL for a podcast that's in the iTunes directory. Have fun.